All right, it comes down to this yeah. Diego Castillo. 33 appearances on the year. He has been really good lately. About his fastball, he'll be in the mid 90s with that hard slider and 31 innings. He has 32 strikeouts, and he's going to get the tough part of the lineup. So the question for Scott Service today, and you know they talked about this hours before the game, is Seawalt available after an inning and two thirds last night? The Shet pops up the first pitch. Suarez, he's got it. One away. Big out. Get that first out. Trying to protect a one run lead. And not a surprise, he starts him with a slider. Some serious pop in this lineup. There's the slider. So for Scott, which do you do? Do you go to Seawalt back to back days after he threw 30 pitches last night? Or do you go to Castillo working his third straight game for the first time since 2019? It's interesting because a couple of weeks, but maybe even three weeks at this point, I talked to Scott about Castillo and some of the other relievers out there. He told me that Castillo is somebody that bounces back quickly, doesn't take him a lot. So I'm not really surprised to see him out there. The first reliever to go three days in a row. Guerrero, borderline pitch, caught a strike on a first pitch slider. Yeah, just a great slider here. AQC Tracer has it right on the corner. How about on the inside edge with a fastball at 96 miles an hour and some movement to it. So you're kind of look out over the plate for the slider and here you go. A two seamer is running in on you. Fantastic pitch. A couple of tough pitches to a really good hitter. Both of them on the corner. Bouchette, Guerrero and Alejandro Kirk for the Blue Jays here in the ninth. One down. The 0-2. He was able to get away with that fastball because of the movement. That was 96 in the middle of the plate. There is Kirk. Chance to go with that slider off the plate a couple times, see if he can get him to chase something. He does not have to throw him a strike. Another 0-2. He reaches for it and flicks it fair into right field. Tying run is aboard with one out of the ninth inning. His first hit tonight comes in the ninth. And this is just a great hitter. Look at this slider. It's well off the plate away. Man, you can't do anything about that. He threw that where he wanted to. Unfortunately, Guerrero picks up a base hit. Pretty good pitch. Ahead in the count. That's what you want to do. See if he'll chase, and he did. But able to pick up the base hit. Tremendous hitter at the plate, Alejandro Kirk. Fouls it back. We're already seeing 96. This will be 94 miles an hour. Starts it off the plate and runs back. It's basically middle away. And Kirk's the type of guy who profiles. You don't want to face him in a close game because he's so hard to strike out. He will put the ball in play. He does not go. Well, hopefully if he puts it in play, it's right to J.P. Crawford. So a double play and get out of here. Sounds like one of your mound visits. <laughs> one out, one on. The one to one. Takes a strike. One and two. On the ground, Crawford can't get there. One out, two aboard. Hit it in the vicinity, but not close enough. 
Well, I can tell you this right now. I know it's three days in a row for him, but his stuff has been there. He's 95 to 96 with tremendous movement on his fastball. These are just two really good hitters. Both pitches off the plate. This one inside, top of the zone, if that, maybe above it. Still finds a way to get a base hit through the left side. We saw Guerrero also on a slider that was well off the plate away from him. Now Kirk lifted Bradley Zimmer will run for him. A lot of speed with Zimmer. And if there wasn't a buzz in the ballpark already tonight, you can feel it now. Tying run. Guerrero is at second. Zimmer at first base. The go ahead run. First pitch to Hernandez. On the ground, a foul ball. One out, two on. Mariners by a run of the ninth inning. On the ground, Santana. A little flip. Castillo pedals to first base. Two outs. Guerrero to third. Zimmer is into second. Another quality pitch. That was a slider off the plate. If you see Tracer has it off the plate, still able to put it in play right off the end of the bat. Not much on it at all. And Santana doing the right thing. You have to make sure you get it out. Big man run fast. He got over there in a hurry. And now with Guriel, they will put him aboard. And face Chapman. And going after the swing and miss of Chapman. And Guriel. Below league average swing and miss. Puts a little more pressure on Castillo to be in the strike zone, especially early in the count. Chapman 0 for 3 tonight, three strikeouts. Top shelf, strike one. I wasn't sure if he was going to try it up top because typically with the movement that he has, he's going to be lower in the zone. But this is a perfect pitch at 93 at the top of the zone. That's where you want to pitch Chapman. Bags packed two outs. The 0 1. On the ground. Toro right there. Takes his time. Mariners win. They have won the series. And for the first time since 2018, the Seattle Mariners have won seven in a row. What a terrific ball game. Robbie Ray again going the six innings, giving up just the one run. It was a solo home run. And I tell you what, he was really throwing the ball well today. He topped out at 97 miles an hour. And how about Santana? Carlos Santana, his first home run as a Mariner proved to be the difference. It was J.P. Crawford with the base hit, and then the home run by Santa, Santana to put them ahead. And Castillo again going three days in a row. I tell you what, I think he'll take the next couple days off, Aaron. What do you think? <laughs> well, the remarkable thing that this team has taught us this year, and we should have learned it before, you never can predict when a team is going to get hot. That's exactly right. And we mentioned it. We looked at the schedule. This was supposed to be the tough part of it. Well, they had six games, two with San Diego, down the four here. They've won five of them. Chance to sweep again tomorrow. Remarkable. They've won 15 of 18. They've won seven in a row. Tonight's Tacoma Subaru game recap. Well, no score. When Springer led off the sixth inning, Mike, the opposite way. Yeah, not a bad pitch at all. It's on the outside corner. It's elevated a little bit, but to hit it out of the ballpark, Springer's an awfully good player. 
Now we've seen that firsthand for years. Then with a man aboard, veteran hunting the fastball at the top of the zone. Turns around 94 miles an hour off the scoreboard. Well, things got interesting in the ninth. Bases loaded, two outs. Casey Chapman. Defense positioned perfectly. Toro able to make the play. A chance for the sweep tomorrow. Mariners' best 18-game stretch since 2003. We go down to the field. The Jets.